So, Ed, what is God teaching you this season in life? Much. Yeah, I mean, he's just... I feel like he's just been pouring a whole new level of uh, freshness about the power of his word into me, you know, and what it really means to trust him. I mean, that's been, you know, that's obviously the theme of faith and the theme of our life is, is God's word truly trustworthy? And can we put our faith in him like we, you know, we want to or whatever? Because, um, you know, when we talk about faith, it's, it's one thing, but it's actually when, you know, when the fires of life come and you sit there and, you know, and you're faced uh, to either run to the Lord or run to something else, you know, that, that's that's where it really you you really realize how much you your faith in, in God is. Um, so I think for me it's like I've, I had a bunch of refuges in my life, places where I ran you know to God in times of stress, times of trouble because they were just evidences that I didn't trust Him. You know, mm -hmm. be it work or food or you know any anything. Uh, not that we don't need healthy outlets, you know, to get away from you know, the seriousness of life, exercise, or whatever it is, but like we were talking about earlier today, when those things become idolatrous, or they they, they replace God in the sense that they become the place we look for peace and refuge, you know, then that's where it gets dangerous, you know, so I feel like he began a journey in me about five years ago, six years ago, of just stripping all that away and said, I want to be your refuge. Mm. I want my word to be your, you know, where you run, when you and he's just been, he's been doing that and wooing me, you know, mm -hmm. and just calling me and teaching me, hey, I, I am all that you hope that I am. You know, it's like we take past wounds from people that we've been hurt by into our relationship with God, and we assume that he is going to do the same thing. He's going to re reject us or abandon us or, you know, hurt us or not come through and all that. Yet, you know, he's faithful. He's a covenant God. His track record is impeccable. You know, there's... And he is a God of reaction. You know, I, I grew up thinking that God was, uh, that his uh, blessings and his love were both unconditional. And this is a pretty controversial point with a lot of Christians. I, I grew up thinking that uh, the blessings of God, you know, in other words, you could, you could as long as you had your little get out of jail uh, free card, you've asked Jesus in your heart, you could go do the worst things on earth and um, still live in that uh, blessing flow of God and expect all these great things from here, from Him on, on earth. And the more I look at His Word, his, lo his love is absolutely unconditional, but His blessings are positional. You know, we put ourselves in a position to receive from God. Uh, just like if I had my son, you know, if, if I had, you know, with my kids, if one of them went off the deep end, I couldn't, in love, put certain responsibilities in their hand because I know it might ultimately hurt them, you know. Um, and so I've just learned what it means to, uh, what's that? Thank God, that's very cool. <laughs> Amen. I love that. Constantly have that word pumping, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I've just, I've just learned the power of God's word more and more. I think he's teaching me that. You know, what it means that his word trumps all circumstances. There's no, there's nothing that is more powerful than his word. There's no sickness that's greater than his healing. There's no financial need that's greater than his provision that you know there's there's no uh, depression that trumps his joy you know if we'll truly lean on him you know. in this world we will have trouble but he's overcome that trouble so as we lean on him he walks us through that and we are gained you know guaranteed victory you know it's not a uh, I hope so or I'm, you, know, sc you know scratching myself to death hoping that I hoping that he comes through. You know, he said he'll do it, so we just trust and rest. So that's the gist of it. Cool. Amen. 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 Amen.